Today we're going to be looking at the short form scheduler where we're able to schedule a video to be posted to all major social platforms. And the great thing about this workflow is that the schedule is fully customizable to each social media account. So say for example, Instagram, if you have the majority of your followers online at say 10 o'clock in the morning, well, we can actually update our Google Sheets to say, post this at 10 o'clock in the morning for Instagram. If a YouTube sets one o'clock in the afternoon, this system is going to publish that at one o'clock. And then say for TikTok, it's six o'clock at night. This system is going to be fully configurable so that you can post that at six o'clock at night. So we're not basing this on one single schedule trigger and then publish them those all to social medias at the same time, we have full customization of what times these go out on different socials. So let's see the workflow in action. So I had to wait a bit of time before it was published to social because I had it on the scheduler. But here is the final result published to Instagram. So what we're going to need for this is this Google Sheets, which we're going to use to schedule these videos. So I'm going to update these values back to their original value. And what this is, is basically our database, which says what type of video we want to publish, the title, the times that we're publishing to different socials, and the status of said video, whether it's being published to all socials and the published status, wherever it needs to be done. By the way, guys, this is going to be provided in the documentation linked in the descriptions. You'll have a full run through of how to connect all the APIs that we're going to be using today, as well as this Google Sheet template. So that's found down in the description. So we have split this workflow out into three separate categories. We have the retrieval of data from the Google Sheet. We have the preparation of the data utilizing code and a set node, and we have the publishing to multiple socials. So let's dig into each one of these. So if we open up the schedule trigger node, don't worry about this output for a second, just focus on this. We're going to have this process in every day at midnight. So once this is set up and configured, this is going to be running every night. It's going to schedule videos at a specific point in the current day autonomously, as long as there are videos within that Google Sheet that need uploading to socials. Now let's hop into the Google Sheets node. This node is basically the initial starting point of this workflow because the scheduler just triggers this workflow. So this is the first part of retrieving data. We need to hook up our Google Sheets account. So if you click into here and click create new credential, you'll then have to go into Google Cloud Console go into OAuth screen, go into audience, scroll down and add the account that you want associated with this. So the Google account that holds this Google sheet. Then go to clients, click create client. You're going to select the application type, web application, leave the name as is, and we're going to add a URI. And the URI we're going to add into here is what we get from here. So this redirect URL. So let's just copy that, head back into the Google Cloud Console. Let's paste this in here, and then we can select create and you're given a client ID and client secret, which you can paste into here. Also, I should note before actually doing any of this authorization, you should create a Google Cloud project. So once that's fully configured and you've set up authentication within the Google Sheets, we can scroll down, set the operation to get roads. We're gonna specify the document from the list and it's going to be videos to publish. So this document right here, and then we want to get the sheet within this because this can have multiple sheets. So it's going to be video list. So as you can see here, sheet from list, it's going to be video list. And then what do we want to do? Well, we want to filter on two things. We want to filter on published status and published to socials. Published status is going to be set to to do and published to socials is going to be set to false. We only want videos that are marked as to do and that haven't been published to socials to show up. And then lastly, we want to set an option where we only return the first matching row. We don't want to be processing multiple videos at the same time because we haven't included a loop within this workflow. So one value is all we need. So if we test this flow, we get the first video. The rainforest is beautiful. The video link and the specified times that they need to be posted on socials. Now we go into the prepared section and this is really interesting. Within this document, we have specified the times and we specified them just in standard 24 hour time, 12 o'clock, 16 o'clock, 18 o'clock. So four o'clock and six o'clock. But in order for computer systems to understand this, we need to convert this into UTC time format and then generate an ISO string. Now don't worry about that. It's all included within this code node. So let's open this up and have a look at it. So firstly, we're getting the date time and this is using the Luxon's package under the hood within NA10. It's a really good package to manipulate dates from format. So we're gonna set the time. The current time that we have is hours and minutes because it was 16 o'clock, 18 o'clock. The zone that I'm currently in is Europe, London, but you can change this to whatever you want, but we need to convert this to a UTC time format. So we're going to set the year and we can just grab that by specifying dollar sign today, and then the property of the year, the month, and the day. Once we have that information, then we can convert it to a UTC time format and then convert it to an ISO string. So this essentially is a function that we're going to use over and over. Then we are going to map through the item. So we're going to iterate through each item. We're going to look in the JSON, publish TikTok time, and we're actually going to update this directly Call in our function, this value here, passing in the time of each social. So this is just saying, hey, we've got published TikTok time, which is 
at 12, I want you to convert this into the UTC formatted ISO string. So this is going to be passed into here. And we're going to do this for each time. So for Instagram time, YouTube time, and what this is then going to do is generate those ISO times. So if we run this, we'll see what it looks like. So on the left side, we have the input. As you can see, the times are like this. And when we test this, we have the times now in this format, which is the correct format for publishing. The next step within the prepared stage is to list the social account IDs. Now, before we get into this node, let's briefly discuss the API that we're going to be using. And that's going to be Blitato.com. Now, this platform, you can generate viral posts and faceless videos, but we're just going to be utilizing the API here. More specifically, the quick start section of the API, which is all linked above the workflow within the documentation. So if you come into myblitato.com forward slash settings, the link is found in the documentation. This is where you hook up your social media accounts. It's just a one click process where you can hook up YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, plus many more. Once you've hooked up your social media accounts to Potato, you will then be given an ID that looks similar to this. And what these are are just unique identifiers that associate to your social media accounts. So we have the information in regards to our social media accounts. We have the data that we wanna send. So we have the video link, the URL link. We have the title of our video and we have the published times. Now in regards to publishing, firstly, we need to send this video to Blitato in order to generate our own unique URL. So it's going to be stored within Blitato servers. So this is the endpoint that we need to go to. We need to specify a Blitato API key, and you can find a link to the page to grab this within the documentation above. We're going to set the body type. So we are going to be sending a body here because it is a post request. We are going to update the body content type to JSON, and we need to set a body parameter specifying URL. And this is going to get our video link. So let's quickly execute the previous node. Right, so as you can see, we're getting it from item JSON video link. So if we look into here, this is going to be this one, the video link is this, we're posting this video up to Blitato servers. Once that's done, in order to post to Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok, we are going to carry out another HTTP request. So this is going to be a post request. It's going to be to this endpoint now. So it's Blitato version two posts. We're going to set the headers. So we're passing in the API key again. And then regarding the data that we're passing in, now the reason this dynamic content is showing up as red is because I've actually pinned the data. So if we come back, so as you can see, I've pinned prepared video, so I don't have to hit this API again, but this is what's going to be sent in the post request. So we specify the account ID, which is going to be the previous one. So we look in the list of social account IDs. So it's this one, and we're going to grab the Instagram ID. So our unique identifier to our social account, the text is going to be the title from the Google Sheets. This is really important. We need to pass in a URL, which is going to be the potato value that we've created within prepare video. So this value up here. So it's no longer our video URL that we got from our Google Sheets. And then we specify the platform, the target type and a scheduled time. So this is how we schedule. So we're going to be using this one, for example, and make sure this is valid JSON. So no trailing commas, no quotes within quotes. And once we submit this, we will get a post submission ID. In regards to post into YouTube, it's going to be the same endpoint. So we can literally just copy and paste this post to Instagram node, update the title. And there's only one thing we wanna change in here. And that's the JSON body that we're passing. Set this to expression, open this up. We have our JSON body. So this is an object containing post. We have the account ID for the YouTube account. So that's going to be this value here. In regards to the target, we specify the type, which is obviously going to be YouTube, the title, which we get from the Google Sheets. The privacy status is set to unlisted because this is just a test mode. We don't actually want to publish this to the public and should notify subscribers, not in this case. So we set that to false. The content, platforms YouTube, we specify the URL generated in Blitato and we have an empty space for text. And then we specify our scheduled time. This one down here, the UTC ISO formatted time to publish to YouTube. And then finally, post into TikTok. So again, copy down the YouTube node, keep everything the same apart from this post body. So if we set this to expression, open this up, we have the account ID, which is going to be the TikTok account. We have a target. So obviously the target is going to be TikTok. It's going to be public to everyone. This isn't branded content. We aren't doing a duet. Set is your brand to false. AI generated sets true because this is AI generated. Disabled stitch set to false. Disabled comments false. The text is going to be the title which we get from Google Sheets. Platform is TikTok, and then the media URL, again, is the Potatoes video URL. Scheduled time is going to be the published time that we generated from our code node for TikTok specifically. And then last but not least, because this happens sequentially, right? So first we'll post to Instagram, then we'll post to YouTube, then we'll post to TikTok, and then the last node 
it's going to be updating our Google Sheets. So in here, we want to connect our Google account, which we did initially. So this is already going to be hooked up. We want to update a row within a sheet, within a document. From the list, it's going to be videos to publish. And then from the list again for the sheets, it's going to be video list. Map each column manually. We want to match columns on IDs. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, if we go into Google Sheet, we have an ID specified, this value here. That's what we can map on. And then we just want to update the columns, publish status and publish to socials, publish status set to complete, publish to socials set to true. And if we run this step, we'll then be able to see in the Google Sheet that the column with ID set to one, publish status has been updated to complete. And we scroll over, publish to socials is set to true. That's working as expected. And that is a quick video on how to publish to all major socials, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. Now, please bear in mind that in order to use Blitato's API, you will be charged $29 immediately. So as soon as you generate an API key, you'll be charged $29. So a little gotcha here, they do specify in small writing here, your free trial includes access to all features except the API. So be careful with that. This is a very powerful platform for sure, but please make sure you're ready to use this and be charged this amount. But other than that, that's the workflow. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And as always, I will catch you in the next one.